Hi friends, Kayla Sewell here, Development Associate at the Children's Museum of the Low Country in Charleston, South Carolina. As of July 14th, 2020, the museum has opened up online registration for playdates. Right now, playdates are two hour play periods spread throughout the week. Some playdates are members only and others are open to the general public. If you are a member, you're welcome to all of our playdates. Playdates will have a maximum capacity of 90 individuals per time slot. Today, I'm going to walk you through registering online. The first thing you'll need to do is navigate to the museum's website, www.explorecml.org. Once you're on the website, you can click Playdate Registration or Tickets. Both will take you to the same location. Once on the Playdate registration page, you can find our general summer schedule and other information about playdates. You should know that by completing your purchase of tickets, you're agreeing to the Children's Museum of the Low Country's waiver. You can click this button right here to read the waiver. Finally, near the bottom of the page, you're going to see blue buttons that state the dates and times of upcoming playdates and whether or not those specific playdates are members only. I'm going to click Monday, July 20th and register for that play date. A new window will open. This is the ticket purchasing portal. If you're not a member, the ticket types you'll want to use will either be adult and child or South Carolina adult and South Carolina child. You'll notice that South Carolina residents get a $2 discount off the price of admission. If you choose to use these tickets, you will need to present a valid South Carolina driver's license or other form of ID when you check in at the museum. If the South Carolina adult and South Carolina child ticket types don't apply to your family and you are not a member, please use the adult and child ticket types. Now, if you are a member, you'll want to be sure that you're using the adult member and child member ticket types. If you use any other ticket type as a member, your member discount will not apply. As a member, you'll need to use the adult member and child member ticket types and also log in in order to receive your member discount. In the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a bright orange button that says new account and sign in. When you purchase a membership at the Children's Museum of the Low Country, your online account does not automatically set up. Instead, you'll need to create one. If you've never done this before, you'll need to click on New Account and fill in your info that is affiliated with your membership. As you can see here, this is the Create an Account page. One thing that you'll want to note that's very important is that you'll need to provide the same email that you provided when you purchased your membership. Once you've filled in all your info, click Create an Account. You'll need to navigate back to the museum's website, click the play date that you'd like to register for, and then sign in with the information that you just provided to set up your account. So if you've created an account before or you just created an account, you'll need to sign in. Click the sign in button and fill in your login details. You'll know you're logged in because your email will be now in the orange button in the top right hand corner. Now it's time to fill in the ticket quantities in the appropriate fields. I'm logged in as a member right now, so I'm going to register two adult members and two child members. Once you're ready, click register. It's now time to fill in my registrant information. You must provide registrant one's information to continue your purchase. I'm going to fill in the museum's phone number and the museum's address and my work email right now. Next on the list, you're going to see the terms and conditions and also are the co which is the COVID-19 waiver that I mentioned earlier. Now, we would love 
if you would go ahead and provide information for everyone in your party, but you can click register later, provide registrant information during check-in. I would recommend that you fill in this information now so you can save time while standing in line with your child to get into the museum. But to save time on this video, I'm going to go ahead and click these boxes. Now I'm ready to add this to my shopping cart. I'll click the blue Add to Cart button. Now, since I'm logged in as a member and have chosen adult member and child member ticket times, you'll see that my cost is zero dollars. If you're not a member, you'll see your ticket cost right over here on the right hand side. Double check that everything looks accurate to you, dates, times, ticket types, and amounts. And if you'd like to make a donation, well, that wouldn't hurt either. We'd love that. Now for ticket delivery. For a quicker check-in, we recommend using the e-ticket option. By selecting e-ticket, you're going to receive a receipt confirmation email and then also an e-ticket email that will have barcoded tickets to scan at check-in. At this point, your personal information should already automatically fill in, except for the title. For some reason, that doesn't fill in automatically. But it is required, so put in your title so then you can move forward. Now, I'm going to hit Next, which will complete my purchase as a member. Um, if you're buying tickets as a non-member and you do need to pay, the button here will actually say Check Out. And you're going to click that and fill in your credit card info. And once you fill in your credit card info, you'll click a button that says Finish and Pay. Nonetheless, no matter which way you go about doing that, you're going to end up at the next screen. My computer is taking its time. There we go. Wonderful. So now we're all set. We're registered. And you should be receiving an email confirmation that is a receipt and then also an e-ticket confirmation if you opted for that. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email community at explorecml.org.